Djokovic, rock solid. Right there, an interesting contrast in the two rallies. Another chance to break. there having chased down the drop shot from Nadal. Agility was insane. Oh, we saw Nadal win the opening game of the match with a similar backhand. And he draws level with yet another. shots. That's phenomenal. Uh, 
What a change up from the dial there, off the backhand. Well, you always hope in the big matches that both players can bring their A games to the court, and that's exactly what we're seeing at the moment. And I think against Nadal as well, you hit a lot more balls out of your comfort zone, so it does put your body under a lot more stress. end to the game it's looking so good for Djokovic he still seems to be having problems with his back oh. it's a real shame you know, the opening yeah. sets turned into a little bit of a damp squib there because the first half was absolutely phenomenal. A shot. What a change up. Djokovic was left dumbfounded. It's a lovely ball. Technically spot on. is a sizable lead. The question is, will it be enough? Brilliant. 
finishing the set with considerable aplomb. The first that Nadal has lost since the final way back in 2006 here. believe it that's why they pay on the big bucks turning defence into attack, forced to raise the level of his game. Well, I think Djokovic has every right to feel hard done by there. the rally so it needs to be for him to win the point big decision from Pascal Maria here and it's out so what a rally there from Djokovic because he was under the cross Half initially short and uh, nice to see Nadal having the courage to step up the court and take the ball on. Well, the 
first three games in this deciding set have taken 41 minutes to play. And incredibly, we're back on serve. so hard to get back on serve it's incredibly frustrating and again he's just trying to continue executing the game plan but we know it's a risky one, but you have to take those risks, and uh, unfortunately, he hasn't been able to play as well as he would have wanted uh, when it's really mattered in this third set. But shame that game had to end on a double. And his third, so all three of them have come in this deciding set. Perhaps now, just starting to get a little jaded. He's done it. The king of play still reigns here in the Principality. Nadal with his fifth consecutive victory here. The first player ever to achieve that feat. And improves his winning streak to 27 matches here at the Monte Carlo Country Club. It's a 14th. Master Series shield for the Spaniard. And it draws him level with the great Roger Federer. And now he's just three behind the all-time leader in that regard.